Let us now discuss plastic modulus which is being used in the nominal moment capacity of the fully supported, laterally supported, and fully compact section. So let us discuss plastic modulus which is represented by ZX. Huh? So given a rectangular section that is 240 mm wide, and 400 mm deep, we are asked to find the section modulus. What is the section modulus? If you remember, in our flexural stress or bending stress, this is given by MC over I. If this is bending about the x-axis, this is MX, this is IX. So, the ratio of Ix to C, this may be written as Mx over Ix over C. Your C is the farthest distance of an element of the section from the neutral axis. In this particular case, this is your C. It's 200. It's 200 above and 200 also below. Okay? So, C bottom is also 200. So, in here, Ix over C is the what we so-called section modulus. This is Sx. Now, let us compute the section modulus of this one. Our section modulus Sx is Ix over C. Our Ix for a rectangle is 112 B side cube. B, D, cube. Over the C, your C, if this is your D, this is also D over 2, right? So, let me express it in terms of D, no? So, bring up 2 here, so this is over 6, so this is going to be B, D squared, D cubed, and D will cancel. So, 2 over 12, so this is over 6. This is your section modulus. Now, substituting the values, you have here 240 times 400 squared over 6. So therefore, our section modulus here is 6.4 times 10 to the 6 millimeter cube. So this is our SX. Now what is your plastic Modulus. We need this in LRFD, no? And in ASD, in the NSCP 2015 code. Now, for number two, the plastic modulus, Z, is defined as summation of the moment of area about the neutral axis. So the neutral axis, this one, neutral x-axis, divides the area into two identical rectangles. This one and the one below this one. And the centroid of the rectangle above the neutral axis is here. So this is your y about the neutral axis. If this is d over two, then this must be d over four. So we substitute the area above is b, this is your b, times d over two, times d over two, b times d, over 2, this is the area times the y. The y is d over 4. But this is the moment of area above. For the area below, is the same. So we just multiply this by, by 2. So 2 will cancel out. So our z, x for the rectangle, is simply b, d, d, b d squared over 4. So this is the formula for zx. You don't need to memorize it, no? Okay? So for this one, you'll get here, substituting, you have 240 times d squared, d is 400 squared over 4. You calculate this, you'll get this as 9.6 times 10 to the 6 millimeters cube. You follow? Now for number 3, take note, we will get the 
ratio of plastic modulus to section modulus. So we have Zx over Sx. So our Zx is B D squared over 4, while our Sx is B D squared over 6. B D squared will cancel out. Bring 6 up, so that is 6 over 4, or this is 1.5. So take note that the ratio of Zx to Sx is regardless of the dimension. It is 1.5. This is however true only for a rectangular section. So for a rectangular section, the Zx is equal to 1.5 of Sx. I repeat, this is for rectangular section. So, I hope you understand now yung plastic modulus. Kindly enroll in our online course. Refer your relatives, you refer your friends to the best online platform, online review for civil engineering. And also, if you have relatives who are college, they need our monthly courses for college algebra, differential calculus, analytic geometry, trigonometry, spherical trigonometry, and geometry as preparation for their college. Without those preparation, your son, your relatives, your friends will find it difficult really to cope up in their first year in engineering. So we have those courses for them. If you have friends or relatives who are still in college, and they are really finding it hard to cope up with their civil engineering subjects or mathematics subjects, refer them to us to enroll in our mastery courses. Or if it is you, then enroll in our mastery course. It will help you really a lot at a very, very friendly, very economical but reliable price. Also, I am inviting you to attend to our final coaching in preparation for the November 2022 board exam. It will begin on October 15. Okay? It is an advantage to be able to learn the solution and the actual board exam problems last May 2022. So the tuition fee for non-Padilla reviewers, non-PRC reviewers is 4000 and for those who have who are already our students it is discounted at 2000 okay i am also inviting you to enroll in our special board exam courses a solution to may 2022 board exam solution to november 2021 board exam and solution to november 2019 board exam the last three board exams okay so the last three board exams it is also an advantage to learn or to know those uh, board exams okay to be exposed to solutions of those board exams and learn the solution the easiest way possible okay because the probability that those problems will appear in this forthcoming board exam is about 20 percent so 20 to 30 percent so knowing 20 or 30 percent that will be repeated is an advantage okay so the tuition fee per course is 2000 pesos okay so i hope you will uh, we will see you and you will allow us to help you in your pursuit of your license in order to enroll in our Co final coaching program for November 2022 board exam and for the special board exam solution courses click the link below in this video okay see you